All right. Um, welcome everyone. Um, Arnold Paul Mutageki is my name. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we shared earlier that we shall be dealing with geography of East Africa. Back again here, and uh, uh, we shall be discussing more of uh, field work today. We shall start by uh, basically trying to understand what are the basics of me and you, me and geography. Sorry, on this channel. I'll be discussing geography of Africa, like I said earlier, both physical and human geography. On this channel, we shall also be preparing for the interpretation of geography questions as far as the Uganda National Examination Board is concerned. That is your name. That is in Uganda, obviously. I will share trial questions, interpretations to all the concerned friends out there on this channel. Uh, remember to invite a friend to subscribe to this channel and to give feedback where necessary. Go to the uh, channel, subscribe, and then you can view all our work that we do. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we can start up with fieldwork. What is fieldwork? Um, in simple interpretation, this word fieldwork has this, it is broken down into two. There's one field, and then work, whereby field in this case means that environment outside our classroom boundaries. Uh, when you get out of uh, maybe the school gate and go into the field, that is what we call the field. Uh, you go outside the classroom boundaries. Then work, which means basically what we do in the field, the activities that we do there. And therefore the word means the activities that we carry out outside the classroom boundaries or our outside the classroom walls. So what do we study basically when we go into the field, you know? People have been hearing field, 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 you know, what is field? Uh, it is basically an area where researchers go and uh, collect information. So when they go to the field to collect information, what is their main target? Uh, some go there to concentrate on the physical geography, others on the human geography. And the physical geography that we study in the field, uh, ladies and gentlemen, involves uh, Features such as relief features, uh, in our primary social studies, we are told that the relief features basically show the general appearance of the landscape. So what are some of those features that show the general appearance of the landscape? We have gentle slopes, we have hills, valleys, steep slopes, outcrop ropes, uh, to mention but a few. We also have drainage features as part of the physical features. And uh, the f drainage means to do with water, such as lakes rivers, swamps, wetlands, to mention but a few. And then also have the vegetation types, such as forests, grasslands, thickets. Uh, I can't mention all of them. So, uh, what is in the other one we're dealing with, uh, physical geography? What do we study in the field when we go to research? As far as human geography is concerned, and those aspects, in other words, some of the areas where we may have interest in getting information include, amongst others, learning sites. I'm sure some of you have been to learning sites doing field works. Uh, livestock farms. Some of you have also gone to those uh, farms to do field work there. Estates or plantations, uh, tea plantations, sugarcane plantations, etc. Mention them. Industry stroke factories, uh, some of you have been to these where maybe they make bricks, make tiles, etc. Or mines or quarries, some other people call them quarries, others call them mines. Those are some of the human geography areas that we can do all field work or we can carry out our research all together. So then uh, when we go ahead we want to first now classify what is fieldwork. We have done that. Then we go and say, what are the stages of fieldwork? If I am to do research or if I am to carry out fieldwork, what should I do? How many steps? What do I have to go through to get there? There are three major stages of carrying out fieldwork for our elementary stage. The first one is basically uh, the preparation stage. Before you go, you have to prepare. What is involved in preparation? We call that stage preparation stage stroke, the pre-field. Basically, this is done before you head to the field. You do it from uh, within school in preparation for the field. Then the second stage is when you leave school or you leave the classroom boundaries 
and go out there to collect information, which we call data collection stage. Other people refer to it as real stroke actual field work stage. That means you have now left preparation, traveled to where you want to collect information. Can be a learning site, can be a factory, can be an estate, can be about a hill, can be about a livestock farm, can be about a particular forest, etc. Then the final one is basically the follow up stage. Follow up means you come and make a recap. What do I mean recap? You go through what you have gone through, you try to make a refresh. What did you study? What did you see? What did you write? And etc. So we can start by looking at the first stage of field work, which is the pre-field stage stroke preparation. Yeah, you've heard me right. Preparation for the field. Uh, what is involved in this stage? This stage basically has so many activities that the teacher and the students do uh, carry out. Okay, there are so many activities. But we want now to first look at the major ones. The major activities are basically four. And uh, don't cram, but I've just uh, had a simple formula for you here, which is P Tom. Each of these letters represents an activity that can be stated uh, the way it's supposed to be. We have the P, which stands for a pilot study. In other words, what is a pilot study? A pilot study is basically uh, when a teacher uh, goes to the field, what does he go to do? The teacher goes to the field to make, uh, it's like an investigation. You go and try to find out what is in the field. Uh, if I'm to go to the field, what, what is in the field? I use this chance, or as a teacher uses chance, to navigate, to ask for permission, because I cannot come and carry my students to an area whereby I don't know the owners of the area. I'm supposed to go look for that person in charge of the area, most cases the local council one or LC one. I ask for permission and say, excuse me, sir, excuse me, madam. Uh, I'm going to bring you my students next week, or I'm going to bring you my students soon. I'm praying you will come them. Uh, they are not uh, bad people. Please, uh, we request for permission to allow us to carry out research in this area. So, like I've noted down there, this in, uh, is normally carried out by a teacher on behalf of the learners. So, let's say you're in an exam and you have been asked to state the pre-field activities and you have happened to state the first activity as the pilot study. How do you state it? You say, our teacher carried out a pilot study to you mentioned that area where you are planning to go for the field or you were planning to go for the field to mention the area and then you mention what did the teacher do and sought permission from the area authorities to allow us to carry out our field work study correct mark mark the tense mark the tense we have used the word sought the teacher goes there and six so then as you're supposed to report what the teacher did in the preparation, he went and sought permission from the authorities in the field to allow you to carry out field work. We said the simple formula is P Tom. P and then T stands for topic. Formulation of the topic of the field work study. Are we together? So this activity, in other words, how does a student present it? How does a student present it? In other words, okay, before we go there. In formulation of the topic, it involves both the teacher and the learners. So how do you present it? You say, we, that is if you went uh, if you are, uh, to go as a group, or I, that is a final individual, formulated the topic of our fieldwork study, which was, I just gave a hint of the topic that is out there, so you can go through the relationship between the physical features and the human activities carried out at uh, maybe Kaiso Fish Learning Site, if you have carried out field work on a learning site, make sure you mention the showers or where that learning site is. On the showers of Lake Albert, yes. Where? Kaiso Village. And then the district in Hoima District. Put a full stop. NB, not. Not. The topic should bring out what was studied. For our case, what was studied? The relationship between physical features and human activities. That is the what. And then, 
Where was it carried out? For our case, it was Kaiso Fish Landing Site on the shores of Lake Albert, Kaiso Village, Hoima District. And above all, I'm going on, don't forget to elaborate the geographical relationship because any topic should have a geographical relationship. Why did you go there? You went for geographical reasons. So it should have a geographical relationship. That is, say, it should be a researchable topic. Are we all together? So now, uh, if you can go on, we go to the next activity, which is O, which stands for Objectives of the Fieldwork Study. Why The objectives are supposed to bring out the aspect of why did you go, or why are you planning, sorry, to go to the field? What are you going to study? So basically, those objectives uh, are supposed to be stated in a way that they bring out the aspect of why you went to study. So formulation of the objectives of the field work study, that's how a student can note it. And then we say, for example, we or I formulated the objectives of the field work study, such as you mentioned them. Mark the action verbs we're using. That's why it's down there noted N B. The objectives should not be a repeat of the topic, but a breakdown of the topic. Two, should be measurable, achievable, and researchable. Yeah, in other words, you don't mention things which are far, far out of reach. Three, should be stated with the use of action verbs, such as, with the use, with the use, sorry about that, such as, such as, to find out, to examine, to identify, to establish, avoid words such as, you know some kids are good at uh, being creative, they say, to know, to understand, to see, to appreciate, uh -uh. no, it should be clear and spot on. Four, should not be written using those vague verbs like I've told you, to know, to understand, to see, to appreciate, you know, eh? to, to think, you know, uh uh. Those ones are not good action verbs. Finally, objectives should be realistic and related to the topic. However, they should not be a repeat of the topic like I noted in NB1. They should not be a repeat of the topic, but they should be realistic and related to the topic. I hope we are moving on well. That is activity O. M. We are now finalizing on activity M, whereby M stands for methods of data collection. If you are to go to the field, how are you going to get the information? Here we say MH stands for methods of data collection. So what happens with the methods of data collection? You determine them. You determine them. You say, okay, if we are to go to the field, how are we going to get the information? You say, or a student may note it as, we struck, if you went as a group, I, if you went as an individual, determined the methods to use during the collection of data during our field work. Such as, now you mentioned, how are you planning to get information? You can do measurements in the field. You can do recording in the field. You can do interviewing in the field. You can use questionnaire method. We shall look at all of these methods one at a go in our coming episodes. Sampling. Observation, questionnaire method, analyzing of existing literature, map orientation, and so many other other methods that can be used during data collection. I'd like to thank you for being a good audience for the first four major activities. I'm going to bring out some other more activities in our next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Me and Geography. Go to the go to Google, type in Me and Geography, subscribe, and then watch our episodes. The next episode, I'm going to be dealing with more other methods, I mean other activities that are carried out in preparation for the field. And then we go on like that. Thank you for being a nice audience and thank you for viewing. I wish you the best.